Hello and welcome back. Today's video is a royal mix of a haul, to be honest. <laughs> I've been sent some bits and pieces to try out and I made a bit of a big purchase today as well and I'm super excited about all the various goodies. And I haven't done a haul in ages so I thought I would share the excitement with you. Is that okay? I think it's good. Okay, the first thing I'm going to talk about just because this is what I'm, well one of the things I'm most excited about. At the start of the week I managed to drop my lovely Canon G7X. I don't know if you can see this but look this is smashed. There's also an issue with the lens. It's not that you know I'm just this. I could possibly get this replaced however when I turn it on the lens doesn't fully come out. It gets stuck. It doesn't try to record anything. I've tried it with just recording and to see if it you know just works. It's died unfortunately. It, it was camera versus concrete steps. Concrete steps totally won. So in complete and utter impulse and I happen to have savings etc. I went and got the Canon G7X Mark II. Look at this beautiful, beautiful beast. I only got it today, hence the excitement. It's got a lovely flippy out screen. Uh, the other one had a flip out, but it also has that addition, which is really good for, you know, if I want to do stuff down here and I can tilt it. It also has a, quite a few other features built in. If you want, I could do like a vlogger review of it and what I thought of it, how easy it was to use, things like that. If you're interested, let me know. But I do record all my vlog stuff on this. So back to the other exciting bits of the haul. Now, I got some fashion bits. This was PR. I'm not being paid anything like that. Um, and you know I'm quite picky about who I work with and the PR people that I work with. But this was something I was a wee bit excited about. So this is Style Wee. And I was contacted by them and I investigated and their clothes looked beautiful and good quality and they seemed to be a genuinely nice brand to work with and based on the conversations that I had back and forth. And they said, you know, if you'd like to try a few wee bits, that'd be lovely. And I was like, hmm, I really would because I'd already made a list of things that I was gonna buy from their website anyway. So, you know, winner there. First, I just wanna talk, this is something that really impressed me and it sounds really daft. Look at the packaging of the parcel. It's a Ziploc bag. I mean, seriously, more people need to do this. If you need to send something back because it's the wrong size, you can just Ziploc it back in. You're not gonna have to tear open the package, tape it all back up, make a mess. And something I intend to do because I'm gonna be traveling soon is use this for any sort of dirty clothes when I go traveling. <laughs> it's probably a wee bit gross, but it has a really good way because you can reuse these bags for various things. When I go to the gym as well, I will be using this to put my wet um, towel and stuff in really good to make these sort of things reusable. I think it's a really clever, clever idea. Now I will obviously do a try on haul so you can see the clothes on because they are fabulous. They arrived into work and I literally was like, I'm just gonna have a wee bit of an early lunch if you don't mind. And I dashed off to the bathroom to try everything on. The first thing is this beautiful white linen shirt. I mean, it is beautiful. It is a fabulous sort of, it's got a small collar along the top and it buttons all the way up, which is nice. And it's got a dropped hem. So it's higher at the front than the back. So a bit of a high-low dropped hem, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it has a hidden button detail and it's got that lovely weight to it. It's 100% um, cotton linen and it's just, it feels really, really good and it looks beautiful on. Now I would pair this with um, skinnies, uh, you know, slim fitting jeans just to give you that nice shape because you're going to be nice and flowy on the top. So you want a nice slim pair of jeans underneath to give you that nice silhouette. If you do baggy baggy, it might be a wee bit, for me in particular, I would look like just a straight column because I am... I have a quite high waisted and I would be quite athletic I guess is the shape. It's not really, I don't have much of a curve to me. I'm just straight up and down with a wee bit of a hint of where my waist is. So I have to always emphasize that. And if I were loose flowing all the way up and down it just looks like I look about 10 stone heavier than I am and I don't feel as confident. Um, I really really like this. I will be wearing it a lot in the summer. I'm going to do a lovely style video. I have one planned. So excited about that. Finally getting back to doing style videos again. So I have one of those coming up in a few weeks actually. So there was that, absolutely love. And next is a bit of a two piece. It's supposed to be a dress, but it's a two piece dress and it comes with a necklace as well. 
and I kind of like two piece things because it means I can pair them up with other items and you know get lots of wear out of them in different fashions so first is the black top and it's just your basic black sleeveless top or t-shirt top whatever you want to say but it has a lovely bit of fringe detailing so when you swish about you've got a bit of activity going on it's nice and swishy I when I tried this on I was basically back doing a bit of a jive bunny moment you know giving my hips a good swing just for the fringe it's elasticated around the bottom so you can adjust where it sits on your body so that's really good and considering it's quite light it's not particularly heavy of itself considering it's quite light it's not see-through now I'm sure if I had a flash bulb or something that it might be see-through but it's really it's I was surprised at how much coverage I was getting out of it because you can kind of see through it as in if I look through it I can see the camera but it's not see-through that makes sense it's got a nice bit of ribbing around the neck and um, slightly elastic elasticated arm holes so it fits really nicely and it can be worn with you know a pair of jeans anything like that I will be pairing it with different things the bottom half is this fabulous skirt this is what sold me on this outfit in particular this lovely netted skirt I mean come on it's got a lovely bit of satin around the top nice and silky looking and this nice skirt underneath it has I believe it to be sort of a satin type material I should really check but it does make the skirt ever so slightly clingy but with the netting over the top and that wee bit of swish not an issue not an issue at all um, it fits really nicely I should say so I'm a, I ordered these and the sizing is going to be slightly different so I came out as a large and I would be a UK size 12 um, I would be a sort of average size 12 maybe slightly leaning towards the 10 of the 12 if that makes sense but then again in some places I'm more of a 14 than the 12 so I'm always a 12 just sometimes I'm less of a 12 than others for example I'm wearing size, size 10 jeans but that's because of the you know shop sizes but um, you can check on their measurement guide you can see what your size would translate to and it's got inches and measurements and all on there so you can confirm but this is just fabulous so so fabulous it's wonderful cannot wait to style these all up for you I am so excited I have a few ideas for various different outfits um, including other items that I want to talk about and lastly was the necklace so the necklace comes with the outfit now it's only a bit of costume jewelry and it's this lovely mesh looking green jewels um, and little baubles and it is it's just a bit of costume jewelry it's, um, nothing to write home about as such but I think it adds a nice bit of bling it just brightens everything a bit and it's just really quite fun to put it all together I felt like the biggest kid I don't know why but net skirts just make me think I'm about six and I want to just go and play and swirl about in them it's in the rules right so those were the bits that I got from Stylewee and as I said I'll be including them in a style post hopefully in a few weeks actually I'm very excited about that um, and I want to just say it's probably a wee bit mean on my behalf but I've had products come in and out before and the quality hasn't always been there you know because it's more of a fast fashion kind of item think Romwe you know it's cheap but it's poor quality as well whereas this is a bit more expensive but the quality is just I'm so impressed I actually can't express that I was just very very impressed by that so cannot wait cannot wait to play with those now on to the last bits I was sent two hair packages um, this is from Redkin so the first thing that was from Redkin the two hair products are both the same really it's just two different sizes so we have the pillow proof blow dry express treatment primer so I have 150 ml and 30 ml so this is great for traveling and gym and all that kind of stuff I've never tried this stuff before I have obviously used hair primers before and I've used um, heat protectors things like that so I'm interested in trying this because it's supposed to be time-saving blow dry primer with heat protection so I'm looking forward to trying that and it means I don't have to double up and bring in extra things with me if I need to go to the gym or if I'm going away I can just bring one product so interested to try this I've been a bit hit and miss with Redkin in the past so we'll see how we get on I should point out as well they did send a bag of sweeties which ripped but like oh you can't even see I've got Hershey Kisses I've got Hershey Sweets I've got all sorts of random stuff and there's more in there 
I will be giving most of these to my husband because he loves them and he never gets anything out of this so it's nice to give him some treats. And the last hair package, I love the um, multicolored bubble wrap type envelopes that are doing the rounds at the minute, it's very cool. It's just another wee sample, it's from Bedhead, they wanted to send me out something to test out and it's just fully loaded volumizing shampoo and conditioner. I love it's volumizing, volumizing conditioning jelly. Interesting. Handy to have these again for traveling and for the gym. I like little sachets like this. I don't have to carry as much with me then. But that is it for this haul. Short and sweet. I will be sharing more about the camera if you're interested. And the, sh the style shoot I am doing bits and pieces for over the weekend and other things. So I'm very excited about that. And the hair care stuff, of course, I will be telling you how I get on with that as well. If you don't hear anything about it on this channel, check out my blog, it's always linked down below. I tend to post on there more frequently throughout the week. I'll post, you know, I've got four posts going up as opposed to the two that go up here. And that is it, short and sweet hopefully. Thanks a million for watching. Please like if you liked, please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Video is going to be a review of the Avene Hydrating Skin Tone Perfector with SPF 30. I was sent this a few weeks ago to try out, see how I got on with it.